Hey everybody, like and subscribe. It's the Gustavo Report. It don't take nothing but a thing to hit that like button. No energies, no calories, no nothing, man. Good day, bad day, hit that like button. I hope I cheer somebody up and I hope everybody has a blessed day. And I pray for all of y'all. Um, well, I, w I want to explain something my friend explained to me and how I understood it. And it's very layman terms. And unless you're a crazy psychopath or something like that or psychotic or something. Or got some serious mental health issues and think everything needs to die. You normal person will get it. <laughs> Told you not that. Ah, but, uh, so basically, do you believe, if you believe animals and birds and deer and squirrel have the right to live they are a living thing do they have the right to live yes they do people are also a living thing and they have a right to live too and there's people who choose violence and crime and everything and i've been down that path so i don't have nothing to say i don't condone it no more and i'm completely rehabilitated and i'm a man of god now and i love the lord and uh but if a person ha chooses to live in peace, they have the right to live in peace without being treated towards violence. And if you disturb that peace or you do do violence, you have the right to have a consequence. Uh, hopefully you go to jail and don't get killed. Uh, not that I want everybody in jail. People need to learn to, their anger issues and stuff. And that everything is not a reason to fight. You don't have to live like... I live that life. That ain't cool, man. The most gangster stuff you can do is be a provider and take care of your family, man. And all I'm trying to say is if somebody wants a peaceful right life, they deserve to have a peaceful life and not be treated towards with violence. And if you choose a violent life, go get in a ring or an octagon or something. Go spar somebody. But if you choose a violent life and you get met with violence, that's your consequence because you chose a violent life. But if you live in peace, you deserve to live a peaceful life and not be treated violently, man. Because every person has the right to live. It doesn't matter what color it is, what race you are, blue, purple, pink, black, white, yellow, brown, green. What are you talking about? Chill, I'm doing a video, babe. And uh, everyone should live in peace. And I understand that re religious conflict is going on right now. But if you really think about it, the Muslims, the Jews, and the Christians all believe in the same God. And is it really that bad that they have different beliefs? Shouldn't you respect a person's beliefs and not have consequence for what you believe in? Yes, there is freedom of speech. But that don't mean you should be doing anti-Semitism and going free Palestine. And what if that's what you believe, though, is free Palestine? You have the right to believe that. If you have, the, if you feel like free Israel, you have the right to believe that. Everybody has the right to their own opinion, but it shouldn't be forced upon others. It can be de debated, and talks can be done about it, but they should be peaceful talks, not talks downing somebody else. Use knowledge and education. Use facts to back up what your belief is. And as far as faith with God, I mean... How can you deny when there's like 900 something prophecies in the Bible and a major over half of them have already been fit fulfilled and they're and they're finding dinosaur bones with dinosaur meat skin still on it so they can't be millions of years old and I mean our science it seems like the more you really delve into science factual science the more you prove god existence i mean they even discovered a god cell particle at the his bow on control contri glider his bow on collider uh so it's like and i don't and i'm not trying to force anything on nobody man but they're fine with the drying up of um what's that river uh I can't think of the name of it. I'm sorry, guys. But there's a river over there in the Middle East that's drying up. The Euphrates. That's what it's called. 
And they're finding biblical truths right now matching up to the Bible. And uh, if you really think about it, this whole Democrats and Republicans blue and red is like Bloods and Crips. I mean, Crips really stand for Christian resurrection and progress. And they're, they're, if you're a Crip, you're a Christian. If you're blood, you're Muslim. If you're a folk, you're a Satan worshiper. They don't mean everybody that does that stuff who does gangbang is, but that's the facts behind it, man. And it's just like red and blue, Democrats and Republicans, and people are fighting over that, liberals and everything else, conservatives. Everybody's fighting over something. And I don't understand why we can't all just sit down and come to a consensus and a conclusion and, and a positive hypothesis to control the economy and get it every. Why can't the whole world come together and get do a fresh start? You know what I mean? I mean, what America got maybe 20 years left, maybe less. I mean, this country is just falling apart. And. I'm not going to speak on the immigrant stuff because my stepmom was an immigrant. My nurse is an immigrant and I have nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being an immigrant. You know, they're hard working in this country is a country of immigrants built on the backbone of immigrants. But I mean, at some point we can't just let the whole world in. We'll have so much overpopulation. I mean, we won't really be able to sustain our society unless everybody's working and they're having problems with Medicaid and everything else, man. Talking about how are people are supposed to sustain themselves and live off the money that they're getting. When the con when we're just getting more and more in debt, I don't know why they're spending trillions of dollars. I understand, but it's like, why trillions? Why are we getting deeper in debt? How's the whole world in debt? How's the whole world in debt? Where'd all the money go? Where'd all the money go? That's crazy. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. I make good money, but it ain't enough to live off of comfortably the way it was five, ten years ago. You know? It's ridiculous. My house value shooting through the roof, though, every year. You know, we're at like 300000 practically right now for my home. And it's paid off no mortgage. And I work hard, seven days a week, 15, 20 hour shifts. But that's all I got to say, man. Like and subscribe. That's the Gustavo Report. I love y'all. Hit me up. Leave some comments. My email's in my bio. Hit me up.